Hello world and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy with your boy X33. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Uh yeah, so um last we left off I was uh, organizing my own room of requirement and uh, I fully fully done it up now. We have seven potion stands in here. Constant supply. A Knights of the Brown kind of uh, decor, I suppose you could call it. Still two minutes on them. These are done, no they're not. I'm gonna have to change that. My camera work is just all over the shop. It's not even in the art. Uh, oh, I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? It's Hufflepuff. Full moonlit ambience sounds perfect. Would be more of a raven claw. I'd like the room to be warm and comfortable, as if I'm floating inside a mug of butterbeer. Oh, sounds perfect. Logok, Logok, yeah. Attend Beasts class. Find out what Gladwin Moon wants, but.
hasn't seen this many plants here before. I saw that you could actually do potions and make potions constantly throughout the game. Um, I'd have thought that maybe they'd put in the mechanic that they had for the uh, AR mobile game that they have. <coughs> Where if you wave, quote unquote, your wand in front of a potion, um, it would actually boost that. burst into multiple fiery balls and attack um, attack enemies Two things that we um, open, or that I managed to open off screen, were the sanguine mask and the brown eye of Newt Gold. And they're both slotted. Still, I don't know how to slot something, but I suppose we'll find out as we keep um, keep venturing forward. I can 
actually knock all three of these out all at once. So, let's do that. How do I cross the quickest way outside? Hmm. Revelio. So if Isadora was a defense against the dark arts teacher, somewhere around here there would be um, like her her portrait or something. Off on another adventure, are we? You know what? Gonna fly travel to outside and see where we can go. I suppose the easiest place to go would be, would be naturally um, straight to the Black Forest. Hogsville player Beaumont seems worried about something. I should ask what was wrong. Uh, we are actually going to go there. So I feel like it will lead us to trouble. Or even just being where I am. Nice to see you, my young friend. I hope you have your So using Mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously, that's easy. Um, acquire and use an invisibility potion. Acquire and use a thunder brew potion. Against enemies and that one. Cast a full zone on a levitated enemy. Invisibility potion. thing we need left to do now is what are you up to now hit some uh, hit enemies multiple enemies nobody will miss this one piece of little beastie on the road Simon's all finished uh, uh. You interfere with us and that woman, isn't it? It's the Your Perhaps 
Must have been quite stately in its time. Get out from here. There's one of these things. Akio. In these, there are a bunch of bones that, when sat up, they make the staircase. Akio. Just trying to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. <sighs> Sound like something open. And I don't quite know what. Rebellion! Alright, so if I apparently keep running this way, there will be another fast travel for us to utilize in the future. Wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Rebellion. Broadens the mind. 
Not sure how I'd fare in a little place. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Yeah, I really should have thought about what I was doing with those potions. I just went absolutely berserk with him. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Eh, but we're careful, aren't we, bud? Rebellion. Upper Hogsfield is being terrorized by Ranrock's loyalists. Is I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Baldov dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Baldov end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Baldov had spent the entire day hand picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Baldov refused. In their anger, they held him against a rock and robbed him. The moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Rebellion. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Bardolf thought dark magic would... Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders. Especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Well, we know why. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Because they're working together. I can what certainly else? look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. I don't really need to. Um, Quests. I'll go sort out that camp and then we'll find her brother. How nice of you to come by. of Ranrock's camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. Wizards are running scared, <laughs> as they should be. 
Human to worry about. You're really not very good. Who else managed to fuck me? I won't rest. Bloods on Ranrock's hands. One camp down, one more to go. Revelio. Both camps cleared. Alan Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Excuse me. Who lived here, I wonder? Revelio. Incendio.
Revelio. That wasn't too hard. Sitting there waiting for me when I come back. Whoa. One way out. Um, now we will quickly quest. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, so we'll be going back to that page. Wait. Map transparency. Should investigate. Good for you. It's Rebellion. What do you have in store for me this time? I do. Interesting. <sighs> Easy. Akio.
Let me answer. Uh, Akio. The pulsar. I look, man, we just need to get it to here. Oh. Incendio! Quickly going to check my gear. See if there's something you need. I shall hope to do business with you again. It's been a pleasure. Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? Yes, I have some right here. Please take it and be careful. Oh, thank you, thank you. I knew you had a good heart. I feel better already just knowing I have some Thunder Brew on hand. Please take this as thanks for your generosity. Thank you. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Trust. Oh. Can bring up. Ah. 
Sorry about that. If you ever see a weird cut like that, just know that um, I've essentially paused my recording just to go uh, tend to my dogs. Ah, uh, yes. Rebellion. Rebellion. Yeah, I'm saying there was a strange shit. Yeah. One way to <coughs> There's so many chests in this game. It's not even It's a deep. Rebellion. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Ladders. I do miss the bustle of business. Poor customers, afraid to venture out. Hello, Madam Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? Magic. It was harrowing, and they dug in their heels, but I managed. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? Oh, I do hope my brother. Thank you. Sincerely. Oh, you like that? A fine choice. I'm buying it because. Thank you for passing through. Madam Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Badolf? What do you know of my brother? I regret to say that Badolf had been turned into an inferior, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an inferior was my brother Badolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand knitted. <gasps> I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more 
could I have done? Oh, bad off. Bad off. My dear, dear brother. I'd have bet my last gallon he'd been kidnapped. But turned into an insidious poor man and poor Claire. Eve's dropping old bitch. Alright, old guy, page upgrade, plane, island dog. Alright, we are actually going to go to class. We'll just start with Apology because I do need to go down there anyway. I know I've got plenty of Dipney, that's not the point here. <laughs> um, ooh. Ooh. That ebony? Mwah. Ooh, gorgeous. Excellent. staircase apparently go find out what mr moon wants i'm the moon off on another adventure are we ah students twitching out Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Seen heaps in my profile. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, oh, uh, which God. takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demigod. A demigod? <gasps> yes! terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigoises. 
The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes use the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Okay. Why me? Do you have a, a couple of reasons, yeah. frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. All right. Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk, and there is, in fact, a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm, you'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Mm, Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, ah, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Hello, Hamora. Disillusionment charm, so no one claps eyes on you. This is a area of the castle, after all. Another key. Revelio. How close are we to the next level? A recent spiritual penalty in which Quidditch, which, in my humble opinion, has brought the game to the modern age. Astonishing, frankly, how many spectators want nothing less than to see Quidditch keepers flat with their tail. As to the topic of the letter, we at the Ministry assure you that any and all potential threats to visit kind are taken quite as seriously. I have made note of your concerns and in as much time allows the Department of Magical Law Enforcement will ensure that the matter is looked into, schedule permitting. 
We value the opinions of esteemed wizards such as yourself, and you may rest assured that we have matters well in hand. Should you wish, I can have my secretary secure a seat for you, yourself and a guest in this year's Quidditch final. I think you would be delighted to see the results of a well-run and efficient government. Warmest regards, Barris Spavin, Minister of Magic. This guy cares more about sport than he does his own community. I hate that. Revenue. Hello, Amora. Dot has been asking for you. Perhaps I can convince her to stop in for a buddy beer or two if you were to join us. It's been far too long. When you do manage to come by, I wonder if you'd be able to part with a few of your plants, the more fragrant ones. Ever since the troll attack, customers are complaining about the smell, believe it or not, old socks. Nothing I've tried seems to cover the stench. Hoping to see you soon, with or without the plants, your friend Serona. Revenue. This is a teacher's bedroom. Alright. Just uh, casually head upstairs. The Castle of Valley reveals authority figures in enemy locations, allowing me to scout ahead and remain undetected. Here. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll catch you in the next one.